And the president has made a lot of promises on the campaign trail about uh, rolling back executive power. He was complaining about that under President George W. Bush, not taking any money for lobbyists, not meeting with lobbyists in the White House, uh, not having uh, opening the doors so the lobbyists could come in and drive policy. We put together another little montage here of some of the uh, some of the promises made on the campaign trail. Here's the executive order one. Take a look at this one first. I take the Constitution very seriously. The biggest problems that we're facing right now have to do with George Bush trying to bring more and more power into the executive branch and not go through Congress at all. And that's what I intend to reverse when I'm President of the United States of America. I've got a pen and I've got a phone. Uh, and I can use that pen to sign executive orders uh, and take executive actions and administrative actions that move the ball forward. So first he's against it, and now he's for it, clearly. Lobbyists not being able to meet with his administration or be inside of his administration, former lobbyists being hired to be part of it. Remember this comment? When you leave, you will not be able to lobby the administration throughout the remainder of my term in office. You will not be able to leave and use the revolving door to cash in on your service. That will not be allowed. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, it turns out... Lobbyists actually know a lot, and so they've hired a ton, almost 400. This includes 136 current lobbyists. Surprise, surprise. All right, and how about this one, energy and natural resources? Uh, this is President Obama back in uh, California on Valentine's Day. Listen to this. We're going to have to make some decisions about how we conserve better, how we allocate water better, uh, how we recycle water better. Uh, and how we cooperate more effectively. All right, so how about this? The president, uh, very well known for all of his golf outings, and how about this? He's uh, just visited California where he talked about conservation and climate change, yet he was playing at golf courses that use up, I mean, tons and tons of water right there in the area, and he's there talking about the drought. Well, and he flew there on Air Force One. Well, you're supposed to be riding your bike to work or in some crowded metro car. The president's in a 747 creating the largest footprint in human history, carbon footprint. He's also telling you, you can't have a gun, but he's surrounded by guys with automatic weapons. I mean, it, it's a lot of, you know, it's good for you, but not for me. Right. And people in California right now having to not, not wash their dishes on a regular basis, do their laundry on a regular basis. Can't right wash now. their cars. They can't wash their car. They can't even, they're not even allowed to use water for their yard right now. They're being told to let the grass run dry. You know, these golf courses are able to just pour all kinds of water into the ground. Sure so that they can go play golf there. Yeah, so, and by the way, the EPA is trying to ban wood stoves. So you can have a wood stove in your house, but the president's cruising around from fundraising venue at some billionaire's house to some other billionaire's house on Air Force One. How many wood stoves does that, does one <laughs> leg of Air Force One traveling account for hey, in terms up. of carbon output? You would do as I say, not as I do. Email us, friends, at foxnews.com. Let us know what you think about this. Hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. 